Hello YouTube, this is Finding Neutral. My name is Mike. It's been a while since I've posted a video. Today, I'm going to be going over the WR250R, my 2019 WR250R. I'm gonna review that at the 11,593 mile review, as well as the seat concept seat right here. Um, that is a 10,000 mile review. So I purchased this bike back in April of 2019, currently have 11,593 miles on it. I thought it was about time to do an actual full review of this motorcycle and how it's been since I bought it, how the maintenance has been, any problems with it. Um, and then also kind of highlight the modifications that I've put on this bike that have been good, a good choice. Um, so to start, we'll just kind of walk around the bike. So this seat concept seat is a game changer. Um, I've had this on here for over 10,000 miles. I've rode this bike from San Diego to Phoenix, Arizona. I have put a lot of time, hours in the saddle on this, and this has held up remarkably well. There's no wear patterns on it. I've been able to pressure wash this, clean it. It's been out in the Southern California sun. It's not showing any signs of fading. Um, it's got the gripper sides, which really help out when you're going around curves and you're kind of clenching in with your knees. Um, this seat is awesome. I recommend it so much that my friend bought one too and put it on his WR250R. So yes, we have two WR250Rs in the garage. Highly recommended. I would say this is the best modification I've put on this bike so far. Second best modification, let me see this up is upgrading the headlight to the Cyclops uh, high definition. Um, I did put in the Ultra version. The Ultra version allows for all the lights to be on when you have it on high. It's an upgrade of like $10. I would highly suggest it if you get it. This not only improves your vision at night, it also improves your visibility during the day so other drivers can see you. It's, it's um, my uh, buddy over here with the other WR250R. I purchased this for him as a gift because it's a safety gift. It was something he could upgrade his bike with. And when I see him in the back of the headlights um, when we're going down the highway, it, you can see it clearly in the daylight. Like it is a great safety upgrade and it works perfect for function. Um, I have replaced the handlebars with Pro Tapers. This is a Henry Reed uh, curve. Um, also put on some EMIG uh, grips after I wore out the stock ones. I have put on Zetas, Zeta hand guards, which they have this mount. It's a little bit pricey, but it works good. It uh, attaches right to the triple tree. Um, it, it's a great, great setup, very sturdy. And because it attaches to the triple tree, you don't have to worry about the hand guards uh, rotating out of the way in a crash. Um, if you ever get sick of uh, bleeding your shocks, I put on Motion Pro shock bleeders so you can just kind of tap right there, bleed your shocks when the front tire is off the ground. On the front shocks, I also have installed seal savers. Um, these are the zippered ones. They work great. It just keeps the dirt off of the, the seals so that you don't have to do as much maintenance on them. Um, Coming around the bike, um, I installed a Zeta, Zeta front sprocket cover. Um, I was a little bit leery about this because I was worried that with it more open that my boot shoelaces would get sucked into the front sprocket and chain. Um, that was a fear that never actualized. Uh, this is awesome. It allows for dirt and dust and grime to fall away versus just get stuck in that cover that it comes with in stock. Um, it's a great setup. Um, also, I mounted a Tusk rear rack with the Rotopax mount. I have another video about that if you're interested in it. So check out my channel. Check out that, um, that video if you're interested in how I mounted the Rotopax onto the Tusk, tusk mount uh, or Tusk uh, rear rack. Getting to the main point, one of the, I would say the third best upgrade of all these are the Dunlop D606s. I have Dunlop D606s on the front and the rear tires now. Night and day difference. Better on the highway, better on off-road substantially. Um, I, this is my third set of tires. I had the original set of 
trail wings, I wore through those, put on a set of D606s, wore through those, and now this is my third set, another set of D606s. So I'm sticking with it, it works, it's not broken, it's good. So I recommend if you go for a, another set of tires, check out the D606s. I didn't mess around with getting the Pirelli MT21. Uh, I, I didn't find it, um, need it, so I just went with D606s on the front and the back, and everything's been fine. Okay, so as for a review about the bike. So I've put over 11,000 miles on this bike. Um, I've had no problems with this bike. Um, it has been rock solid. It, when I started, it starts, it, it runs, it's great performance. I've had not even a hiccup with it. No problems whatsoever. Um, I've just done the scheduled maintenance every 3,000 miles. I've changed the oil and the filter. Um, also, every 3,000 miles, changed the, cleaned and oiled the air filter. I use a no-toil, um, air filter cleaning kit. It's another, another revolutionary product. Um, you don't have to use that nasty um, air cleaner solvent anymore. Um, at 10,000 miles, the chain was starting to sound uh, like a box of rocks, so I replaced the front and the rear sprockets and the chain with OEM parts. So these are the standard parts that come with the bike. This is a chain that came from Yamaha. It's made by DID, so I know it's a good O-ring chain, as well as the sprockets. I didn't mess around with the gearing and all. I just put the stock product back on the bike. Um, again, I did that at 10,000 miles, so I'm anticipating I'll have to do it again at 20,000 miles. Um, most importantly is the chain maintenance, and a lot of people neglect this. Um, every 300 miles, I check my chain and I clean it. I check it to see if it's, if it's tight enough, if it needs adjusting, and also I clean it. Um, I clean it before I check it. Um, I have, there's a second trip meter on the speedometer here. I usually set that and then I, when it hits 300, I know I need to change the chain or clean, clean the chain and adjust it if needed. Um, I would recommend that you take that seriously because um, especially on highway speeds and anything like this is a this is a bike that you know you can get up to 90 miles an hour on I would not delay or neglect your chain maintenance at all so coming around full circle 11,000 miles on this bike I've had no issues it's been great um, I have no way I can justify buying a second bike I was looking at getting an MT-07, but I cannot justify in my head purchasing a second motorcycle because the WR250R can do it all. It can do it on the road, it can do it on the highway, it can do it on the dirt. Like there is nothing this bike can't do. I, I love it, I absolutely love it. It's my daily driver. I try to put as much uh, mileage on this bike as possible, leave the truck in the garage. Um, it's never let me down. Uh, you just do the scheduled maintenance on it, which is really easy. It's very friendly. Every 3,000 miles, you change the oil in it. Check the chain every 300 miles. And you'll have a great, dependable bike that you can ride for thousands and thousands of miles. Um, the modifications I showed you aren't necessary, but I would rank that the three best, the three best modifications that I have put on this bike are the seat concept seat. Huge difference over the stock torture instrument. Like the stock seat, it's painful. The headlight, it's great for you for seeing in the dark. It's great for you, them being able to see you as you're on the road with cars and other motorcycles. And then the third best would be getting rid of those trail wings and putting on a set of Dunlop D606 tires. So if you have any questions, um, comments, please comment. Um, uh, appreciate any feedback you have. Um, please subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna try to put out some more, uh, some more videos soon. Trying to get into some other hobbies like paddle boarding. Um, probably to put some videos on about that. Um, but other than that, I think we've covered all the bases. This is a solid, 
solid motorcycle. Um, if you go with the WR250R, you're not going to be you're not going to be disappointed. Um, there's it's, it's, some people say a 250 isn't enough power, but this thing has enough power. Um, it's a very high performance engine, like for a 250. Um, there are, I hardly ever take it to the limit, and it, it's it's loads of fun. And if I need to, I can always rev it up. So, thank you for watching. Again, subscribe and post any comments. Thank you. Have a good one.